Bill Andrews, President and CEO at Exagrid, explains the many benefits of both the Exagrid tiered backup storage solution, with some impressive speeds and feeds, and the company's reseller partner program, with equally notable features, a high win rate, a large installed, global customer base, and a host of major reseller support initiatives. Okay, so we're going to um, chat today a little bit about Exagrid's your reseller partner program. But before we do that, I guess for those particularly don't know, or maybe even just a refresher, be good to understand you know, the storage portfolio that the company has. Sure. So Exagrid focuses on backup storage. So we sit behind backup applications such as Oracle RMAN, Veeam, Calm Vault, Veritas Net Backup, and, and about 20 other backup applications. And what we have is tiered backup storage. And we're the only ones in the industry that have this. We focus on how do you get the, the best performance for backup from your stores? How do you get the best scalability, the best security, the best ransomware protection? How do you have disaster recovery? You know, all in a single solution. So to net it out, if you put disk primary storage disk behind your backup application, you can have reasonable performance, but you're not going to have the scalability, the security, uh, and the cost is going to be too extreme when you have any level of retention. If you do deduplication appliances that do deduplication in line, you'll have much lower disk storage, but you're going to have uh, you know, basically very slow backups, slow restores, a backup window that grows as data grows, again, poor security. So Exagrid has taken the best of a primary storage, which is our disk cache landing zone, fast backups and restores. The best of a deduplication appliance, which is our second tier repository, which is all deduplicated data, added scalability to that and then added a ransomware story with a non-network facing tier, delayed deletes and immutable data objects. So we're the only one to net this out that solves all six requirements that IT people have. The first is the fastest backups for the shortest backup window. The second is the fastest restores to keep user productivity up. The third is scalability, so the backup window stays fixed length as the data grows. The fourth is security, uh, including ransomware recovery, to be able to recover after a ransomware attack. The fifth is disaster recovery, making sure if anything happens to your primary data center, natural or, or not, uh, that you have another location with all of the data. And we can do that uh, both on the private cloud as well as the public cloud. And then lastly, doing that all at a reasonable cost because backup storage can become quite costly. Okay, that's good. And in terms of the actual reseller partner program, how would you, I suppose, at the sort of high level, how would you characterize exit your, your channel philosophy? So it's kind of maybe a little different than others. So I'm smiling here. I think resellers uh, can be beat up at times. Uh, they can work with vendors whose products really don't work well, and then they get a black eye with their customer. They can work with products that are oversold or undersized or not well supported, and they can get egg on their face. They can work with vendors that uh, take the deal direct at the end of a sales cycle that they brought them into, or maybe even bring in another reseller, or at the end of the game, squeezes margins on them so that, in fact, they can't make a lot of money. And I think resellers are tired of that. So when Exagrid approaches them, we call that all the elephants in the room, all the sort of damage previous vendors have done, and our program gets rid of all of those. So first and foremost, our product works extremely well. You know, we have two hot customers on our hot customer list with 3,800 worldwide installations. We don't oversell it, won't allow the sales team to do so. We won't undersize it. We've got very strong sizing calculators to make sure the customer is getting exactly what they think they need for their retention and their growth needs. We have tremendous support. We assign level two support rep to customers. They deal with the same person all the time. So this, all of that ensures that the reseller's customer is extremely happy when they bring Exagrid in. Secondarily, uh, we help the reseller do the sales cycle. We have an over 75% competitive win rate, which means we got a three and four chance that if they bring us in, we're gonna win it, which means that they're gonna win it, right? They don't wanna waste time, bring us in and not get a sale out of it. They wanna make sure it's, it's got a high chance of happening. We will never take a deal direct. We will never bring another reseller in and we're very strong on that. We honor whoever brought us into the opportunity and whoever we've given the registration to. Lastly, in, in the ways of making money, we have SPIF programs for deals that resellers bring us. We have meeting maker programs, which are bonuses for bringing us into opportunities to present. And we have a strong registration program where the A-level registration has got a much higher discount 
than the B-level registration, so they're guaranteed to the margins. So if they net that out, they're going to have a happy customer that's well-supported. They know they're going to get the business of ExaGrid wins. There's a high chance that ExaGrid's going to win, and they're going to make much better margins than any other storage player. Okay, and as you outlined at the start, um, you're confident that you've got the, the best product there for, for the retailers. And also, I'm guessing you've got a, a big installed base as well, which you can use as reference to, you know, to show folks you know, where, your, where your solutions are already being used. Yeah, so it's a couple of ways I would answer that. The first is we have actually just about 3,900. I said 3,800 earlier, but uh, we've already sold 100 this quarter. So we're very close to 4,000 worldwide installed customers. And in fact, they're installed in 81 countries around the world. We have sales teams in Brazil, Mexico, Chile, Argentina, Colombia, the US, Canada, Germany, France, UK, Turkey, Poland, Czech Republic, Israel, Dubai, Egypt, Saudi, South Africa, Nordics, Benelux, the Qatar region, the CIS region, Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia, uh, South Korea, Japan, all over the world. So these customers are installed in every region all over the world. And that's basically also because we deal with a lot of companies that have installations. They may have a main installation in the U.S. or Europe or Asia Pacific or Latin America, but then they have other data centers all over the world. So uh, they don't just have one location. Uh, so all are referenceable. And then secondly, I'd say there's 300 customer success stories on our website where the company name is there, the IT person's name is there, their title is there, there's a, a, a quote from that IT person, and a two-page user story. These are very substantial customer uh, success stories, 300 of them on exagrid.com. And then lastly, we have over 100 Gartner Peer Insight reviews on, on the Gartner website. Okay, and in terms of the um, the sort of after sales as well, which it can be important to the channel, I'm just wondering how you support you know the, the value added resellers in terms of ongoing um, you know help to the customer, uh, how that works, and also for the VAR itself. So I guess there's two things: the helping to educate and support the VAR with the reseller, and also the, therefore the end user. You know, by extension, how does that work? So I think there's two, there's two things there again as well. The first is we run the customer support directly with the customer. Backup is extremely complicated, right, between backup apps and backup storage. And that's what keeps our customer success rate high. And in fact, we have a 95% customer retention rating, which is extremely high. On top of that, 99.2% of our customers renew maintenance and support every year. That, that statistic is, is over the moon. And we have a plus 81 NPS score. Uh, so what does that mean to the reseller is that their customers are going to be extremely happy. And when it comes time to buy more uh, appliances, either because their data grew, they did an acquisition, they're opening up another data center, maybe they brought up a new application. There's all kinds of reasons why data grows and they buy more appliances. Those appliances go back through the same reseller who originally brought us into the deal because they have the registration. And secondly, all the maintenance and support renewals, that 99.2% of our customers renewing maintenance and support, also goes through the resellers. So all of that repeat business continues to go through the resellers moving forward. Okay, and maybe just um, sort of one final piece of the jigsaw. Do you offer different, I know a lot of um, the vendors offer sort of different programs depending on the size of the VAR or the industry, so just stuff like that. So I say, uh, is it one program fits everyone or, or how many different sort of opportunities are there for the VAR depending on their size and you know what, what they want to achieve? Right. So we do one program for all. We've decided to simplify everything. So no inventory, no revenue commitments, no milestones, no uh, must-have certifications. We have certifications if the solutions architects want the certifications, but they're not mandatory, right? So everybody gets the same discount level. No one has any requirements or contingencies or, or milestones. And again, we don't mandate certifications. So we allow the reseller to choose versus forcing programs on them. Okay. I mean, I think that's covered most, unless there's any, any sort of assets we've missed, or if you, if you want to sort of summarize, I know you, you've explained obviously the best, the best of the product and, and the many benefits, mm -hmm. but if there are any one or two last messages, it'd be great. Yeah, I think the, the, the thing that's interesting to us is with our high win rate, right, 75%, our high retention rate, 95%, we see something over and over again. We see that customers don't really get 
that backup storage can greatly change the backup environment. They just assume there's a backup application. I'll throw whatever storage I have laying around behind the backup application. And they do, and what happens is the backups are slow, way outside the backup window. The restores are slow. Uh, backups don't complete. Uh, the backup window keeps growing. The cost goes out of control because they didn't do the calculation for retention. So I think it's important for resellers to go to their customers and say, you know, there you can have a much better backup environment if you choose your backup storage properly. It's not just a backup application decision. And when customers go with us, they say, wow, I wish I knew this all along. We hear the stories of how they suffered with primary storage just behind their backup application. We've heard how they suffered with, uh, with deduplication appliances and the slow ingest and restore performance and the no scalability and the high costs. Even with SSD, they put SSD behind there and they just assume, oh, if I put flash or SSD behind there, it's going to be fast. And actually it isn't. Those SSD products are not tweaked for backup. They're not running advanced protocols like Veritas Net Backup OST or maybe the Veeam Data Mover. They're not integrated to the front end load balancing part of the backup app, such as Commvault Spill and Fill or Oracle Our Main Channels or Veeam Sober or Veritas Net Backup Disk Pooling. And so as a result, even if you put SSD behind there, it doesn't solve the problem. You have to look for a product that integrates with the backup applications. And we spend all of our time saying, how do we make all six of the things I mentioned earlier better? How do we make ingest performance better, restore performance better, scalability so you have a fixed length backup window as the data grows? How do you eliminate forklift upgrades? How do you eliminate product obsolescence? How do you make sure you have security? How do you make sure you recover after a ransomware attack on the primary storage? How do you make sure if you have a tornado, hurricane, earthquake, fire that takes out your data center, that you've got another location you can operate from? And how do you do that at a cost that's reasonable to IT? And I think there's no one on the planet uh, that, that does this like x -grade, and we see it with our high RIN rate, our high NPS score, and our high customer retention rate. Okay, I mean, it's been great to chat and some brilliant insights. So I really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you.